Good morning, dear student. Today we're going to start, inshallah, Unit 2, Lesson 2, Wave Nature of Light. Please follow us from booklet page 42. Light. What is the light? Light is any external factor that reaches our eye, causing the sense of vision. Nature of light. As we said before, we discussed the nature of light before in unit, in unit one, where light is electromagnetic transverse wave. Can somebody say why? Why it's called electromagnetic transverse? Because, as we said before, electromagnetic, because it can travel through space and doesn't need any medium to travel through. While transverse, because the medium particle vibrate perpendicular to line of wave propagation. Then the speed of light. As we said before also, as electromagnetic wave is very, very, very fast, so its speed may reach 3 times 10 power of 8 meter per second and can be calculated as speed equal distance over time, as we discussed it before in unit 1. Visible light, the light that can we see, which is coming, or all the light waves which are coming from the sun, contains a lot of light waves. But the light wave only that can be seen is called visible light. Why? Visible light is one of the component of electromagnetic spectrum, or, is, or the light coming from the sun, which has wavelengths ranging between only 380 to 700 nanometer. <clears throat> now we're going to discuss the properties of light. Number one, analysis of light. What is the meaning of analysis of light? Let's see first. Did you see a CD player before facing a sunlight? You will see some colors formed on over this CD. How? From where come these colors? Or also? The crystals at your homes, you can see some colors formed over the crystal. Why? Similarly, a prism, a glass prism, this triangle is called a glass prism. If this glass prism facing a white light or the sunlight, you will see that can be split into seven colors. Those seven colors are called seven spectrum color, which means the analysis of light. Analysis again means it the splitting or the breaking down of white light into seven spectrum colors. Those are, like we said before in grade five, let's remember, we said before Roy G, which are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. And they must be memorized by this order. Why? Because the new part that we're going to discuss in this year, that red has, it has low, the red color has least deviation and least frequency. What the meaning of the word deviation? The word deviation means that it's not totally broken. Here the white light coming from the side and the first one which is supposed to be near to the apex or the top of the prism is the red. It's near to the top of the prism. So we said that it has least deviation. It's not totally broken. So why? Because it has least frequency. So again, the red color has least deviation and least frequency. So if we compare it to violet, the violet color has maximum deviation. It's the maximum which is broken, which is nearest to the base of the prism, and it has maximum frequency. So as we see here, as we go from up to down, from violet to to, from sorry from red to violet the frequency increase and the deviation increase again as we go from up to down from red to violet the, the deviation increase and the frequency increase it's very important note now number two energy of light before we go with there is a scientist called max planck max planck found that each part of the light, each color, has its own energy, has its own energy. This energy, he called it quanta, or quanta of energy, which known as photons. 
So again, as each color, each color of the light, red, orange, yellow, green, all each color has its own energy, has its own energy. And this energy, we call it photons. And this photon energy is directly proportional to the photon frequency. He found that again, he found that the photon energy is directly proportional to the frequency, which means when the frequency increase, the light energy increase. Again, when the frequency increase, the light energy increase. So, photon energy is directly proportional to frequency, and he supposed this relation. Photon equal Planck's constant time frequency. Again, photon or the energy of light equal Planck's constant time the frequency. So, can somebody answer this question? The color of the light, which color has the highest energy? Has the highest energy? Again, the color of the light which had the highest energy is which color? Yes, it's violet because we said previously that as we go from up to down, from red to violet, the frequency increase. So by increasing the frequency, the energy increase. So the color which had the highest energy is violet. <coughs> Number three, light behavior through different materials. We got three different materials, which are, as we see here, the opaque material, semi-transparent, and transparent material. Again, opaque, semi-transparent, and transparent. As we could see here, the transparent, we can see clearly through it. We can see the face here in full details, but semi-transparent, it's some less clearly. It's blurred. And opaque, we couldn't see any of the details of the, of the face. How? Here, the transparent, like here, the water, the clear water, or the glass sheet, like this, it's clear. So if I said here, why why we can see a full details or clearly through glass? Because the transparent light, the transparent, sorry, the transparent material can pass all the light through it, so can see clearly. While here, semi-transparent, like the flinted glass or like a tissue paper, here, this is called this one is called the flinted glass. Why? Because it can pass some of the light, not all the light. So we can see less clearly through it. As we can see here, we cannot see the full details of the object behind this glass. So again, if we said, for example, air is a transparent medium, why? Because air can pass all the light or the most of the light waves while the tissue paper or the flanted glass is a translucent or semi-transparent. Why? Because it can pass some of the light. And here, the opaque, as we can see here, it cannot pass any light. That's why you cannot see what we, we cannot see what behind the opaque object. For example, if we could ask a question here, we cannot see the impurities in the black honey, or we cannot see any, any, any thing inside the black honey. Why? Because as we can see here, the black honey is opaque object which cannot pass the light. Number four, light travel in straight line. As we do an activity here, we got three screens, screen A, screen B, and screen C. And we got a small hole in each screen, and at the end there is a candle. If someone is looking at the first one, we could see this, the candle, but if one screen is moved a little aside like this, we couldn't see the lamp, that we couldn't see the candle, sorry. Why? Because the light only travels in a straight line. If any screen block the light, so it cannot pass, so we, connect, we cannot see the candle. So we can say because light travels in a straight line only. Number five, light intensity. We can define light intensity as if the amount of light incident or falling perpendicularly onto a unit area on a surface in one second. Let's see how. If we got a light source here, 
as and we can see as we can see here in this figure as we go far as we go far from the light source the amount of energy the amount of the light energy decreases as we saw here of course if you're standing beside or we got if we got a screen beside or near the source of light it has most amount of energy light energy but if we go away the light energy will will decrease so the relation between the distance and the light can somebody say again as we go far as we go far or as the distance increase the light intensity decrease so the relation will be here yes inversely proportional so we say it the inverse square law of light inverse from the word inversely but square because they found that because they found that because again because they found that that this the, the light is inversely proportional to the square of distance square of distance so again light intensity on a surface is inversely proportional to the square of distance between the surface and the source of light here we call it inverse square law of light if we ask the give reason here when the distance between the source of light and you decreases to half the light intensity increases four times why because we say the light intensity is inversely proportional to square of distance to the square of distance so finally if we want to draw a graph between the light intensity and the distance we can say we could draw it as this curve because it's inversely proportional finally if we try to add to answer some questions from the booklet page 47 please number one the energy of light of red light photon is less than that of orange light photon why besides we say because the frequency of light of red light is less than the frequency of orange light again because the frequency of red light is less than that of orange light number two the inability to see the impurities present in the black honey we said it before again the inability to see the impurities in present in the black honey why because the black honey is opaque medium which cannot pass the light through it number three light can travel through free space we discussed this this question before in unit one we say because light is electromagnetic wave which doesn't need any medium to travel through number four object can be seen clearly through the transparent medium why because the transparent medium can pass most of the light through it try to answer sheet 4 in your in the booklet thank you